Hello and welcome to this video. Last week I brought out a guide on the cathedral, but I never spoke about is it even worth doing. So this is where this video comes in. Now if you are new to doing cathedrals, or you're not at the point of where it's unlocked for you, I'll leave a link here for my cathedral guides to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about today. As for anyone who knows what they are doing, let's break down the cathedral and see if it's worth grinding over arenas, dungeons or gem bays. So firstly, the cathedral is very similar to the lighthouse in many ways. The lighthouse is another way in improving your fighters, but both have their positives and negatives. There are two main benefits with doing the cathedral. Firstly, you get to upgrade every stat that a fighter will use, and you will also gain bonuses like extra armor or damage, which can be applied to everyone in your team. But the main negative that conflicts with both the positives, and that's if you want to upgrade everything to gain the biggest bonuses, you will unfortunately have to upgrade things that you don't necessarily need. Let's say you're upgrading an archer, then yes, upgrading damage, crit, and health are all going to be great. But to unlock the ability where you can increase all allied archer's damage, you will need to increase things like spell power and magic damage, which will obviously be useless for an archer, and gaining you fake power at the same time, just so you can gain the bonuses which are going to be really useful for the archer. Now, I've mentioned before in the cathedral guides that I can't say whether you should upgrade everything to get the bonuses, that'll be up to you. But from what I can tell, it's still well worth upgrading everything to receive the extra bonuses in stats and abilities. So what are the main benefits and negatives of the lighthouse if they can upgrade similar things? Well firstly, it gives you a lot more freedom on what you want to upgrade if you have enough elixirs. Just like I have with my Darkular, I'm able to upgrade just health, armor, magic armor and dodge, and just ignore all the rest. Whereas with the Cathedral, you would have to upgrade all of the stats just to see the same gains. The next benefit I would say is every week the Lighthouse has a ranking system to earn some great rewards. This is over two days which starts on a Tuesday, and you can normally tell if you're able to get first or second in the first 12 hours. But I would always recommend aiming for at least the top 6 spot, as it's really hard to do as long as you put a small amount of time into it, and gaining 6th place can still earn you a really nice chest for such little effort. But the main negative I have with the lighthouse is you can only do 5 battles without either spending diamonds or having to wait 20 minutes per battle, basically not allowing you to truly grind this area out without it costing you something. So both the cathedral and the lighthouse come with benefits and negatives, but which one is going to be the better one to do? Well unfortunately that does depend on your situation still, but here are some scenarios I think that will suit most people. If Hustle Castle is the only game you play and you spend hours on it a day, then what I would suggest doing is focus on your lighthouse and use up all of your attacks and give them time to refresh. During this time, you should then do 1-2 to two cathedrals, and then do your arenas, dungeons or portals. And you'll basically keep doing this until your lighthouse energy is back, and then repeat the process until everyone in your squad is level 7 on the specializations tab. Once everyone is level 7, then you can slow down with your cathedrals if you feel like it's taking you away from your arenas, dungeons or gem base too often. But getting everyone to level 7 will give your whole team a great boost for battles. And if we go based on the last event we just had, the cathedral isn't going to help with events, so I would also recommend to stop doing your cathedrals when events are out and until they have passed, unless they add it where the cathedral can help with that specific event. Now for anyone who doesn't have many hours to waste grinding the game out, here is a different plan for you. I would only do the lighthouse on a Tuesday and Wednesday while the ranking system is out, and that's because you can still earn a great deal more elixirs by winning 6th place or above with only a small amount of effort involved. And from there you can then work on your cathedral in your spare time until you can get everyone to level 4 before slowing down. Now if you're someone that has only a small amount of time just to come on every now and then, is the cathedral or lighthouse even worth doing? Personally I think yes to an extent, and only if you still have time to do other things rather than just grinding out one of these activities. For me what I would say to do is only do your lighthouse on a Tuesday and Wednesday just like before, but what I would also suggest is only doing the cathedral once a day. Now this will take you a while to get everyone stronger, but this time I would only recommend to get everyone in your team to level 3 instead of level 4. And this is because I would hate to hear people having to grind the cathedral and not having time to do other things. And level 3 for everyone is still going to be a great bonus for your team, and then you can just ignore the cathedral until you think it's necessary. Now on Facebook I have seen that many people are annoyed with the cathedral and asking for altar battles as they feel the cathedral is just a waste of time, but I actually think the cathedral is a great thing they've added to the game. Yes, I think 3 floors is a bit much and can take a while, but the cathedral has added another way to separate your team to other players. And this is always a good thing as this can create variety and competition in different areas of your game. I do think they need to tweak a few areas of Hustle Castle, for example the cathedral, they should either give us a few thousand more particles for each level complete or just make it into a two round version and still get the same amount of particles. As I'm sure many of you would agree, there's already too much grinding in this game already. 
With the clan territories, I also think those bonuses should be doubled on each level except for invasion bonuses. Flags on heroes give a total bonus of 44% and clan territories max out at 9% which just isn't enough to feel like a good bonus. But that's just my opinion, what do you think? Do you think the cathedral is a good addition to the game or is it just not worth it for yourself to miss out on other parts of the game just to play the cathedral? Let me know down below, it's always great hearing what you guys have to say and for anyone interested in my A Plague Tale Innocent series, it will either start this Tuesday coming at 3.30pm or the following Tuesday at the same time. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this little talkative video, and here are two more videos I think you'll like if you're looking to watch something else from my channel.